Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to those of you that have subscribed recently. Thank you so much. And I know it's been a minute. There's been a lot going on, um, but Spirit has been guiding me to do this candle wax reading. Um, I already, you know, feel and I know from Spirit already that this is going to have some very powerful messages. Many of you are experiencing uh, the breaking of old patterns and old cycles. There's energy of completion. And for those of you that are experiencing a lot of anxiety currently, um, that is going to be ending. Um, I do hear within seven weeks. Um, actually, seven days comes up in some cases, but perhaps the bowls will go into further detail about that. But yeah, there's something about seven days. I'm now being shown a letter. Uh, this is governmental. It's official. You know, if it's not governmental, it's like some kind of institution. Okay, an approval. Um, I'm hearing like mortgage loan. So yeah, I'm getting goosebumps. Some of you are going to be in for a shock. Like you may feel like it's too good to be true. And that leads me on to my next set of messages is that some of you are going to be going back to beliefs uh, or rather beliefs that you used to have are going to be brought back to you that you've forgotten about, like your belief in certain laws of the universe or ways of manifesting because you think that didn't work or that doesn't work anymore. And yes, it's right. It doesn't work anymore because you're elevating, you are upgrading. Okay, so it's like it's been tweaked, you know, to now help you on your next path, like on the next level. Um, there's also something here about unicorns and rainbows. I have this music playing in the background with a beautiful unicorn on there. So some of you, either you, you may even own like a unicorn deck or, you know, there's a unicorn in there. I just saw that, like a notebook, a pen. Um... Yeah, so it's also about tapping into like that, you know, the the innocent, like childlike energy where you did believe in magic. And also I'm hearing like when you believed in yourself. So here we're going to give you like a confidence boost, okay? <laughs> Collective, um, to believe in yourself again. Because when I see unicorns and... Unicorn energy is very healing, okay? It's very healing. Um, it's also a very grounding energy. And this is what I am picking up that many of you need to do currently. Um, is tap into like the possibility, again, possibility of it happening rather than it not happening. Um, and also just know that Whatever you did or didn't do was the right thing. So don't judge yourself on certain things you've had to do or that you couldn't do. And I'm also hearing answer the call. So some of you, it, this is either life purpose related or it's like literally answer the call when you see a call coming because it's going to be very important. Okay. And some of these numbers, um, they may have six in, double six, seven, um, one and three and four in particular, okay? All right, that's the channeled messages. Um, so the bowls, bowl one is the yellow angel, okay? Um, yeah, just to note, my heating is now turned to aircon, so it may be a bit louder. Just bear with me, okay? I will speak louder or, you know, hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay. Bowl two is this red angel, okay? So go ahead and choose your pile. You can pause the video, you know, if you need to think about it a bit more. Otherwise, I'm gonna start with bowl one. And I've got my cards here, just in case we need to go further on anything. Other than that, welcome. Welcome bowl one. This is your candle wax reading. Let's see, okay, you chose the yellow angel. Let me just, yeah, I think that's good. You can see pretty well, nice and clear. Okay. Why do I feel like I'm taking off on a flight? Like, nice and clear, the runway is clear. Maybe some of you are about to take a flight or a trip. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, 
I'm hearing light of my life. Somebody views you as the light of their life. Yeah. <clears throat> somebody wants your heart, okay? This is somebody that has been in your life before. So this is past energy and they're coming back. And some of them are gonna say that like you are the one for me, like you are the light of my life. It's very specific. You light up a fire inside of them. Okay, I see many eyes in the bowl. So there's a lot of people watching you, a lot of people who are interested in you. Some of them a bit too much, a bit too nosy. I did see a, a monkey's face. Oh, you see it's smoking? I did see a monkey's face and I was hearing like monkey business. So it's kind of like, you know, people are just kind of, uh, mm, yeah, they just have a bit too much to say about what's going on in your life. So just be aware of that, you know, make sure you're protecting yourself and uh, don't answer questions that you don't need to answer. Like, it's not their business. Okay, so I do see a huge initial J and I do hear Jesus. So it can be that, you know, Jesus is a, a saint that you have a close connection to. It can also represent a person. Like I hear Jesus Angel. So, you know, this could be, as I say, a person or it's just that you have a very close connection to um, Jesus. Jesus, okay, and um, angels. So I'm also seeing a dog here and actually the coloring is like pretty black. So I feel like it could be a little Scotty dog. Um, so what I know is from that is that you do have like a very good uh, friend around you. Some of you are about to meet a really good friend who's actually gonna be a friend for life, you know, like loyal, like that kind of how, how dogs are, right? You know, they, they will just, stay by you and they bring so much joy into your life you know even though uh, yeah they have their personalities and characters too the ups and downs i feel like this person is going to have like a fire sign energy about them um and i'm smiling because you're going to have a lot of good times with them and if this person is already in your life that's going to continue like you can trust them i hear but some of you are very careful like you're very guarded and rightly so right um you've been burnt in the past you have learned many lessons when it comes to like people and um, relationships and friendships, especially. I am seeing like a love heart form. So definitely here in bowl one, um, there is a significance here about your love life, okay? Because I hear like finances are good, finances are stable, they're growing steadily. Um, but it's like there's something missing when it comes to love. Now, yes, there's the past person, that energy I mentioned, who views you as uh, the light of their life, um, but also there is somebody new coming. And it's a, a very specific detail, like this new person that's coming, they love hats, okay? So you may meet them when they have like a certain hat on, like it could be their favorite sport team, or, you know, it could be a bit quirky, like a bow hat, like they just, they're into fashion. I'm seeing a continent also, like, I see the continent, it's, yeah, there's a connection to Africa here because I see the shape of that in the bowl. Um, I do hear some of you could be traveling to that part of the world, uh, close by, there's a connection here to Egypt. Um, I'm seeing somebody drinking, you know, mint tea, Moroccan tea, doing a tea ceremony. Maybe this is part of your origins. Uh, this could also be connected to the new love coming in. Okay, that they have a connection to that part of the world. And for some reason I hear double visa. So I, I don't know what that means exactly, but it could be uh, perhaps you, you're gonna have a visa, this person you're meeting is gonna have a visa and it's like can do multiple things. Um, yeah. And I hear working on something. So if there's a project you've been working on, uh, this is about to complete, okay? 
I hear highway, but it's not in the literal sense here, okay? It's in the sense of like a highway finally being um, completed so you can pass to the other side. There's an award, an, an A reward for this project. The bowl is getting very full and I'm seeing a cross also. You are heavily protected. Um, I see a peacock. So also, um, you're going to be experiencing a lot of self-confidence. You're going to be feeling like you are the man, the woman, like you're in all, you're all in one. It's actually giving me like empress, emperor energy. Um, yeah. Okay, so as I was saying, the bowl is very full. So if your life has been quiet, expect it to really be like busy, okay? Things are going to be, um, you know, I hear like heating up. I keep hearing this song. It's going back to the highway. On the highway to hell. Is this? <laughs> um... It can be that many of you, you know, you just feel like you've gone through some like hellish situations and you're just like, okay, how do I get, like, when is this going to be done? When am I going to be out there? It's like, you've really had to kind of fight your way in some situations and um, especially when it comes to getting certain justices, which you are going to get, okay, you are going to receive in whatever capacity that is. So I see like two huge eyes and it is starting to look like a frog. Um, and for some reason, I just hear that that's connected to money. I hear money frog. Um, yeah, there's just so many eyes in this bowl. So it's like a lot of people are going to be, um, even if you're not active on social media, it's just like suddenly either this... Um, the project situation I mentioned or this completion of something, there's going to be a ceremony and like just a lot of people are going to be looking at you and admiring you. Yeah, I do see an owl also. Um, and I'm hearing that you're actually going to see one as your confirmation, not just hear them, but like hear one, you're going to actually see one. Some of you have them living in your garden and you didn't see them yet and they're going to show themselves to you garden, also like a nearby, you know, a, a place that you frequent. Ready for the action. Yeah. Lights, camera, action. So some of you have a connection here to like, um, you know, being involved with media, uh, film, TV. And again, even if you don't have social media, it's like you are going to be getting that. I'm now seeing a butterfly. You're going to be transforming. There's a the major transformation coming in here. <clears throat> and I feel like it's a self-development um, thing, like a self-love thing that you've been working on. That can also be what the project is, right? It's like a completion of a self-love, like a journey of self-love. Like you finally got there, you finally made it. And that's also why this new person is on it, on their way because you. it's now timing. It's the time. I hear health matters. So this could be, you know, mental health, emotional health, physical. Um, yeah, I see somebody running and f uh, finishing first on the the cross line on, in a race. Some of you may be training for a marathon. You may be getting into running. But for those of you that it's not in that literal sense, it's the fact that, yeah, you, you know, you're triumphant. You're triumphant. There's also a connection coming up to Nefertiti, um, going back to this Egyptian connection, you know, and um, Africa, Northern Africa. Also, Ethiopia comes forward too. Is yeah, some of you may enjoy um, coffees from around the world, like so Ethiopian Ethiopian coffee and um, yeah, Turkish coffee. Just, but it's particularly from you know the Africa African continent.
I'm seeing um, an animal with their ears pinned back. So it's like, yeah, it, it's it's as though um, you're being guided to, um, this could be a rabbit. It, it's an animal that has big ears. Um, yeah, you're being asked to like, listen, be aware. I don't know, it's like, when their ears are pinned back, it means they, they've they noticed something, right? Like they, they don't know if something is safe or not. So it's like that, like, so you pinning your ears back, so to speak, it's like paying attention. Um, to your surroundings, yeah. Oh yes, so um, those of you that always have headphones in or just kind of like, maybe keep one earphone in, you know, don't have both ears completely without surrounding sound. When you're out and about, when you're walking. So, let's take a little look. I'm here in Bumpy Road. So some of you, you may be, um, you know, you're gonna travel on a road. Uh, and this is like literal, what I'm getting. Um, it connects to travel. You know, you're gonna be going somewhere that is a bit off the beaten track. It is an exotic place. I do have connection to the Caribbean coming forward. Um, yeah, so you're just being asked to like stay on the track and not to veer too much off it because the roads aren't as like the infrastructure is not, you know, good. So it's better to stay like on the path, even though it may be um, interesting and you're drawn. But spirit is saying like, so get out of the car and walk to where you want to go to. If there's something at the side of the road or like you see a nice kind of pretty area Rather than taking the car down there, it's better to walk it because you have more control over the, the infrastructure, okay? Yeah. I see a woman with like a big head, but it's not like in the literal sense, because actually it's like there's another head attached to hers, but it's just showing her intelligence. Like it, you watching, you're very, very book smart and very intelligent, but it also comes from your lineage, I hear. Because the woman I see, she's like very, uh, even like arist aristocrat, you know? Aristocrat, yeah. <laughs> like noble, there's a nobility about your lineage. And this got passed down to you, okay? Hmm. Okay, let's get you some cards. I just feel like doing that. Also, I'm just gonna say it, for some of you, there is a, a pregnancy coming here. Um, yeah. Hanged, yes. <clears throat> and rabbit, what else here, spirit? What, what did I say? What did I say? I said this is emperor energy, empress energy in this bowl. And look what came out. Absolute confirmation. Um, and this is after, you know, you've worked for this. Ten of swords. 
We're dealing with a lot of disappointments. This could have been up to the past, oh, oops, the past two years. The way that the cards did that, it tells me that everything is just going to come in at once. Let's see what else. Yeah, four of cups. Yeah, you're finally going to be over the past. You're finally going to be over the past, all right? It's not going to affect you anymore. Yeah, you might get little, you know, flashbacks, but it's not going to have the same... Um, you know, I even hear like venom, you know, it's like it's not going to have that same sting each time you have a flashback. It's just going to be less and less and less. It's it's over like you're reaching that point and stepping into this energy, like back in control of your life, uh, back in the driving seat. Some of you could literally be, you know, driving again or, oh, I'm going to learn to drive because there's something here about control. You know, the emperor, while we know it can be in the sense of, um, you know, we use it in love readings, like it's controlling person. and But it, I mean, not always, obviously, but I'm just saying, like, when I say back in control, it's not in the negative sense. It's in the sense of like balance again, you know, after this, after not having feeling like you, you didn't have control, like you couldn't get over certain betrayals, um, somebody from the past. OK, past situations that you were put into predicaments that really you know, it was nothing to do with you, but people, you know, people are, um, you know, they're like leeches and they want to drag you down into what they're in. You know, they see you, this person who's this and that doing well, whatever, has a good heart and they just want to drag you into it. And I feel that's what happened. So you weren't even looking for these situations. Not that anybody is. But those of you that know what I'm getting at, because it resonates with you, you will understand where I'm coming from. It's like, okay, I really could have not, you know, I could have just left that alone, but I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought I was helping, but it's all done with now. It's all done. Okay. So that was your reading, bowl one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon for another reading. Okay. Moving on to bowl two. Love is in the air, everywhere I look around. <laughs> okay, welcome, Pile of Bowl 2, again. <laughs> you chose the Red Angel. All right, already we've got some love energy coming in. Barry White, love is in the air. <clears throat> okay, so I'm seeing a bird right away and this tells me that, okay, there's two things. Not only is your love life going to be taken off, but it's also um, some of you are, you know, taken off on a different road, on a different path. And then also literally you're traveling, okay? You're taking a flight. I hear destination unknown. Maybe some of you have booked like an open ticket. You're going to, you know, book um, the flight and perhaps then just not plan what you're going to do. You're just going to go. There's a lot of spontaneous energy here and the candle is like just really burning here. I hear burning love, but you know, by Elvis, but I know it from the Lilo and Stitch uh, movie. And I just feel that here you're about to experience a really passionate encounter. Okay. Um, yeah. Here I have an energy that some of you have been working on this like manifesting, you've been um, doing ritual spells, um, 
like every day adding to it. Um, I see someone adding bath salts to their bath. Um, yeah, wow, the candle is like really burning and doesn't want to drip. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so this tells me that here the energy has been stagnant and what's going to happen is there's going to be an explosion here, right? Some of you may feel like it's a tower moment. Some of you may feel like, oh, this is not the right path. I'm going in the wrong direction. Why is everything so slow? Why am I stuck? I'm con it's really smoking. So I can tell you this is that... Um, there's certain uh, energies, yeah, okay, that are trying to uh, stop you. Now, I'm not going to say right away this is like somebody's sending you evil eye or put no. It, it's more so, it's like people wanting to hold you back. But yeah, they're doing it energetically. It, but I'm saying it's not necessarily that they, they're doing something um, like they're even aware of it. it. It's someone who's in your energy field quite heavy who doesn't want to let you go. Hmm. Even though you're putting work into manifesting and moving forward, it's like you, you can't. Huh. You know, there's the two, when I saw the bird, it's like they're now two twins. So these are like two doves two um parrots oh look at this now it's coming now it's coming yeah there's going to be an explosion and then you're going to be like boom 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 domino effect everything's happening everything's moving i'm seeing a caterpillar right i'm seeing a caterpillar so you may be in the caterpillar phase all right you may even just be coming out of the chrysalis being like um okay i'm seeing so many things but hold on uh yeah, because the cycle is completing. I'm almost getting like a circle, making a circle here. But getting back to the chrysalis, yeah, you may have been like just feeding into yourself, like feeding yourself, nurturing yourself, right? And like, but nothing's moving every day. I'm contributing, nothing's moving. Yeah. So the thing is, this energy that I'm getting in your energy field that it wants to keep you where you are, okay, energetically speaking, knowingly or unknowingly, all right, this is an X. This is why this bull two is about love here, right? It's about your love life. And yeah, they're going to come back one last time to try and stop you. Um, and I mean in the physical, right? So not just in the energetic level, which is what's been happening, but in the 3D. Because, um, yeah, I see that there's a lot of blockages um, for how they can contact you, but somehow... Yeah, this is going to be quite spontaneous, coincidental. Well, I mean, it's not, but it's going to seem like that, you know, because all divine timing um, and you're going to have communication from them. You're going to be shocked. You're going to be really shocked. But the thing is, you're entering, as I say, this very passionate era, this very um, adventurous era um, on top of your game. You're transforming the chrysalis, the caterpillar to the butterfly. Okay, actually, I see like a lucky horseshoe, you know, it's like you're just going to start seeing your luck coming back. And now, now look at how the candle is melting, you know. Yeah. Hmm. And, that, and that's what I saw earlier. So because there were so many things that started appearing uh, and I saw like a, a pig, but one of those like forest pigs who it can be the one who looks for those truffles, you know, the ones they sent out to look for truffle. Because there's something here about, it's like finding, um, you're finding something, you're finding a treasure, you're finding something of value, it could be the value within yourself, like, for real, you know, not just uh, the outside, like, okay, now I take baths for myself, or, you know, I buy organic food, no, it's something like an inner treasure that you never even saw, you never even viewed it that way, like, your whole perspective is going to change, it's on yourself though. And yes, you are going to get a certain validation, but it's actually what's earned because it's actually justice 
not just a validation from when this X comes back. And now I'm seeing like these just pure little black dots. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of like, you know, um, frog's eggs. So it's almost like you're so fertile. You're so, um, yeah, like, th and, and also this is going to translate into like the physical, like a lot of um, attraction, like sexual attraction. Um, but also it's like being fertile with ideas, okay? Um, so, you know, we don't have to necessarily take gender into account there, but clearly I am referring to women, you know, in that physical body but this can also be you know uh, if you are a male who's watching all right you're just pregnant with a lot of ideas like you and I hear like nothing is going to stop you I'm also hearing going viral because there's something here about turning this adventure this path um, into something that's actually gonna give you abundance and yes financially speaking like monetarily but you're not actually expecting that it's like very unknown here like I see the full card in my you know my vision like you really don't know you're like I'm just really doing something I've not done before I'm trying things differently even man yeah look at these little But there can just be like a, a part of you, which is, you know, the old self that's like, yeah, you're still mourning to an extent, you know, especially when it comes to what happened with this particular ex, because how the wax is just like sticking on. Yeah, interesting. Like the it's just so different to bowl one. Like it's like it took some time to get going, but then it finally did. And I feel like that's just how, how you are, like your situation has been rather. Yeah, time to come out of the dark, time to come out of hiding, I hear. Um, you're being heavily guided. Even the small things that come to your mind, it's guidance. Like buy this book, go walk here, um, park your car there. Um, Try this fruit. It's all it's all guidance. Because you are healing. You know, when I see the wax doing this right now, it reminds me of like squeezing paint out of um, you know, the paint tubes. So I feel like some of you may be painters, you're thinking about picking up painting. Uh it can be you do healing through paintings, like intuitive paintings, or you're going to start doing that. This is quite heavy. This is definitely something artistic. And that's why, in a way, it's something you're not expecting as well. Like, me, an artist? Like, make people want to pay me for my intuitive paintings? Also, photography? What? Um, also, can even be, like, aesthetics. Like, you're going to put things together, put pieces, you know, outfits or um, house, like, home. Um... And it's actually part of your life purpose. So some of you may be involved in Feng Shui also. Look at this. I've never seen you do this before. I view this as like a waterfall of abundance, you know, like a, a, a waterfall of abundance coming into your life. Look at that. That's beautiful. I, I don't even know how to, it's just going to keep going. <laughs> I'll have to put it down soon. Yeah, it's almost like, you know, you're connected, like, you know, heaven and earth. It's like, you know, the, the 5D, the, those other realms look, you know, it's like you're you're attached. You're, it's like the cord that's attached to your higher self. And it's really interesting. Because you're going to be embodying like all of that, you know, so much stronger. It's like it's all aligning. Wow. Wow. I've never had a candle do that before.
Yeah, it also looks like, you know, the type of wood you would find on the beach. Some of you may come across that. Um, and the guidance is to keep it, bring it home. It's going to have some um, special energy. Uh, you know, you can use it in your healings, workings. If some of you practice, well, certainly there's practice here with the, you know, self-love and uh, some rituals there about bringing love into your life. So, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I see a question mark. So it's like, again, going back to that full energy, you know, the, the starting from zero, like, I don't know. I'm just following the lead. I'm following the downloads. I'm following the guidance and I'm seeing where it takes me. I'm being open. Some of you may also be getting a new tattoo. Okay, I just had that. Back tattoo in particular. Yeah. I do see um, like it's strands of hair also, the, the long piece that came down. So um, long piece that fell off. So some of you, you may be growing out your hair, you know, um, it's long and you're changing the style of it or you want to, like you're going to get extensions going from short to long hair, but there's something important about hair here. It can even be weaving. Maybe you're doing some hair protection or you're being called to do that. Um, yeah, because there's something about like culture here or heritage. Well, okay, that's one in the same, I suppose, but where weaving hair plaits was, is very significant. Okay, let's get you a few cards while the candle just finishes up there. Okay, what else? Please hear spirit. Any confirmations? Anything else that you would like all two to be aware of? Oh, the hanged man again. Wow. Okay. No wonder this reading needed to be done. <laughs> Nine of swords. Yeah, moving away, moving out of that anxiety, anxiousness. Page of ones what did i say like passions being reignited here passion coming into your life and also you know with another with a person a new person coming in oh look there he is <laughs> look knight of cups and then we've got the hermit so yeah coming out of the dark finding finding right finding the treasure the treasure within you moving out of this nine of swords like you've done the mental like mental gymnastics here you know you've gone through all scenarios and you have despite that been going on you still kept going like with your ritual with your spell work or your manifestation and love self-love um and now it's coming it's uh through coming to fruition okay so the new love coming in, they can be a water sign, they don't have to be, but they're going to be so passionate about you and a very good lover, okay, a very good lover, very passionate. Okay, let's see. I also do feel like that represents your energy as well. The Knight of Cups is like, you know, a lot of... Um, sensuality like stepping into you know your own body and how it feels and like using that energy to also create um and it's that artist energy right like water energy when you're painting or putting a design together it's it flows yeah two of um one so you're about to embark you know on a complete different way of living and life go with it you know spirit is saying go with it like go with the flow like that waterfall that was coming out of the candle go with it and you're going to be amazed by what can come out of it and just amazed at <laughs> like wow that's me like i'm doing this this was inside of me all along you know i do feel like this uh very like innocent disney theme you know the songs from disney like uh, Moana, how far I'll go. 
uh, it's just like being in touch with that again. And that was the whole theme. If you listen to the channel messages or you didn't, uh, I recommend listening to them because it's really about this magic, you know, believing in magic again, believing in um, unicorns, you know, <laughs> unicorns are real, um, you know, but just whatever it was to you that is uh, considered in this reality, oh, they don't exist, they're not real. Um, so yeah, okay, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed that today. It's nice to be back and, you know, connect with you guys again after some time. Um, I'll post some more soon, um, but yeah, Spirit really uh, wanted this to be given to you today. So thank you for watching as always and uh, see you soon. Bye for now.